Aircraft manufacturer Boeing has delivered the 10th P-8 to the Indian Navy. This is the second of the four additional aircraft contracted under an optional clause in 2016. The remaining two were expected to be delivered in the last quarter of this year. In May, the U.S. State Department approved the possible sale of six additional P-8I aircraft which is customized for India, and related equipment, a deal estimated to cost $2.42 billion. In November 2019, the Defense Acquisition Council approved the procurement of six aircraft. Boeing said in a statement that the patrol aircraft was an integral part of the Indian Navy's fleet and has surpassed 30,000 flight hours since its induction in 2013. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the American P-8 Poseidon is a key asset for India when it comes to taking on the Chinese submarine fleet. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The strength of the Indian Navy's submarine fleet has declined to an alarming level from a total of 21 submarines in the 1980s to only 19 submarines at present, which includes 15 conventional-powered ones, one indigenous Arihant-class nuclear ballistic missile sub, and one Russian Akula-class submarine, which is on lease. The situation is made worse by the fact that the Indian Navy is operating with half of its submarine fleet's strength. This is mainly because most of the vessels are pretty old and going through midlife upgrades to extend their life. Chinese submarine force has expanded rapidly and possesses around 70 subs. There have been several instances of Chinese submarines moving into the Indian Ocean. While India is procuring six French Scorpene class submarines, it's still way behind China. The P 8 Poseidon is developed by Boeing and is modified from the 737 800 ERX. It's capable of anti submarine warfare, ASW, anti surface warfare, ASUW, and shipping interdiction. It also has early warning self-protection EWSP ability. Powered by two CFM-56 7B-27A turbofans that are capable of generating 121 kilonewtons of thrust, it's able to reach a maximum speed of 563 miles per hour or 907 kilometers per hour. It has a combat radius of 1,380 miles or 2,222 kilometers that enables it to cover large swaths of ocean. The flight management system and the store management system were developed by Smith's Aerospace. The system is based on an integrated open architecture, enabling compatibility with future upgrades. The cabin is fitted with up to seven operator consoles. P-8 is equipped with AN-APY-10 radar, which is installed on the enlarged nose fairing. The AN-APY-10 radar provides the Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR, mode capability for imaging, detection, classification, and identification of stationary ships and small vessels, and for coastal and overland surveillance, as well as the high-resolution imaging Synthetic Aperture Radar. ISAR mode for imaging, detection, 
classification and tracking of surfaced submarines and small, fast-moving vessels that operate in coastal waters. The P-8 is fitted with the CAE Advanced Integrated Magnetic Anomaly Detection MAD, system. P-8 is able to drop and monitor sonobuoys, which are basically expendable sonar systems. It also has Northrop Grumman Electronic Warfare Self-Protection EWSP suite, which includes a Terma ANALQ-213V Electronic Warfare Management System EWMS, a Northrop Grumman Directional Infrared Countermeasures DIRCM set, a Northrop Grumman Radar Warning System, and a BAE Systems Countermeasures Dispenser System. P-8 has five internal and six external stations for weapons and can deploy AGM-84HK Slammer, AGM-84 Harpoon, Mark-54 Torpedo, Missiles, Mines, and Smart as well as Freefall Bombs. AGM-84HK Slammer or Standoff Land Attack Missile Expanded Response is an advanced standoff precision guided air-launched cruise missile produced by Boeing Defense. It has a subsonic speed and a range of 171 miles or 270 kilometers. The AGM-84 Harpoon is an all-weather, over-the-horizon anti-ship missile system developed and manufactured by Boeing Defense. It's a subsonic missile and has a range in excess of 67 nautical miles or 124 kilometers. The Mark 54 lightweight torpedo is a standard 12.75 inch or 324 millimeter anti submarine warfare ASW torpedo used by the United States Navy. Troops of India and China were locked in a standoff in Doklam from June 16, 2017 after the Indian side was stopped from building a road by the Chinese Army. Indian Navy's Poseidon 8I was deployed to carry out surveillance on the movement of Chinese troops during the 73-day-long standoff between India and China in the mountainous Doklam. Chief of Defense Staff General Bipin Rawat confirmed the use of the naval aircraft while talking about the need for bringing in tri-services synergy in dealing with national security challenges. P-8 provides flexibility and is a genuine submarine hunter. It can quickly scan a lot of areas and provide real-time intelligence. Since the P-8 carry an effective weapons package, it can neutralize enemy submarines if required. A fleet of P-8 gives India a significant tactical edge at a time when the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy PLAN, has increased its forays into the Indian Ocean region. The Indian security establishment is impressed with the capabilities of the aircraft since it's a force multiplier. It's likely that India will acquire more of this asset in the coming days.